Good morning, class. Today's topic is factors that are affecting the population of a place. Normally, uh, settlements are ha happening in those areas where food, land, water are easily available for human beings. Areas which are too hot and cold are not suited for their living. That's why the distribution is of population is highly uneven. And there are factors also which influence in the distribution of population. So let's see what are those. The factors are topography, climate, soil, water, minerals, industries, uh, department of development of transport, cultural factors. These are all responsible for one population setting of any places. Topography: if the area is too hot and cold, people will not be able to live. In hilly areas, the land is full of um, rocks and should not suitable for cultivation. There also people will not there. That's why it is the Gangetic Valley and the Gangetic Plains uh, far more thickly populated than the mountainous regions like Himalaya and the Alps and Andes of the world. Next, coming to climate, people will be able to live in a certain climate which suits them. If it is too hot and too cold, it will not be easy for their uh, living, not also suitable for farming. That's why people do not prefer living in those areas and they um, come and settle down in areas like um, the Gangetic Plains, Plateaus, because here the uh, climate is also monsoon climate which helps them in agriculture and their living uh, requirements also. Next is soil. Now in hilly areas, in cold, uh, dry areas, cold areas, the so uh, soil is not feasible because in hilly areas the soils are cold, uh, not good for agriculture. Uh, so those areas are not suitable for uh, people to live. That's why river valleys are densely populated because the valleys are uh, having good amount of uh, soil and they do support their life. Water, fresh water is also an one of the basic needs of human beings, animals and plants. That's why the we can see all the settlements during the uh, historic period also have occurred near the rivers like the Indus, Gangetic, uh, Wangho, Nile, etc. So, people need adequate supply of fresh water for domestic agriculture, industries and other purposes. That's why river valleys are densely populated and hot dry deserts are sparsely populated. Next is minerals. As uh, for the growth of any country, it is quite uh, required that industry should be set up. So, availability of minerals in areas or even uh, adverse uh, climate attract people for settlement. That is why we can see that people in a, uh, hot and dry areas of Middle East countries and Alaska in normal North America have more people because the, the mineral resources are in abundance. Industries, as minerals is uh, required for industries, so where there is uh, minerals, uh, also mineral well, uh, oil, in those places the development is more and settlement is also more. If I talk about an example of such uh, settlement, then we, we can talk about Jamshedpur in India, which was settled uh, in which uh, steel factory was settled down, started, and people started living in the, uh, come and settle down in those places. And so today we have such a uh, good population people living over there, like Kolkata region in Japan. Uh, sorry. Not Kolkata, Tokyo, reason in Japan and Kolkata, Mumbai. Here people also live in uh, about, um, live, live and the population is very dense due to the establishment of 
industries and which give opportunities to people for their uh, employment. Next is development are transport. Now, places and areas where the transport facilities are good, in those areas people uh, start living because they can earn their uh, earning easily and the economy also grow in those places nicely. That's it. Cultural factor, the places with religious and cultural activities tend to attract people like Haridwar, Ajmer, um, Amritsar, Jerusalem. These are the people, places where people like to go due to that cultural factors. Okay.